Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, I'm going to share with you a handful of easy tips that you can incorporate to improve your walking after knee replacement surgery. Before I jump into that, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos. So the first thing I want to think about when it comes to walking normally after surgery is getting it to be more and more automatic. So walking is a very natural thing. We've done it our whole life. Um, we want to get back to making walking be automatic and something that you don't even think about. So how do we deal with having that pain, stiffness, whatever it may be, and walking a little more normally despite that pain? So one thing to think about and try is just distracting yourself. So an easy way, put in some headphones, listen to music, listen to a podcast, whatever it may be, listen to an audiobook. And just focus on what you're listening to instead of what's going on as you just walk um, and are going for a stroll. Another thing is try socializing. Socialize with a friend, a family member, walk with them and talk, have a conversation. Again, you're focusing on that conversation rather than maybe some of the pain and discomfort you're feeling. Another thing I like to do is focus on a point of reference in front of you as you're walking. So if you have a lot of pain and you're favoring one leg and maybe you're taking shorter steps on one leg compared to the other side, you might start to deviate from that straight line path or you might just start to slow down. So one way, keeping that straight point of reference and looking at that point of reference and trying to walk straight toward it as you walk is one simple way that you'll start to improve and equalize your steps side to side just by naturally trying to stay in that straight line. Another thing I like to tell people is walk briskly. So we don't have to rush, we don't have to walk as fast as you possibly can, but I really don't want you to walk very slowly because when we start to focus on our pain or focus on whatever, we start to really slow down and not walk with a nice, comfortable pace. When you focus on just walking briskly, you're actually starting to cause some changes in your walking that you won't even think about. So you'll probably start walking a little bit faster, your step length will probably be a little bit more even, you'll probably have a little better arm swing and posture as you walk. Just by thinking about walking a little bit faster, a little briskly, um, can really cause a lot of changes to your walking pattern just naturally. You know, sometimes you might hear a therapist or someone say, take big steps as you walk. What I've found with that is when you say take big steps, the patient will focus on taking really big steps, but because they're explicitly thinking about taking big steps and changing their pattern, they tend to slow down how fast they're walking, and so they're walking very slow, and the rest of their walking isn't really normal, even if they may be taking those big steps. So instead I just say walk briskly, walk at a good brisk pace. And just by thinking about that and walking at a good pace, you'll notice they take bigger steps, they have better um, heel to toe contact, right? Touching down with the heel and pushing off of the toe. Um, you'll notice a lot of changes and improvements just by trying to walk briskly, keeping that point of reference straight ahead. A simple exercise I like to do is use an ankle weight. So again, if you have a lot of pain you, in your surgical leg, you'll tend to favor that. Um, you're not going to put as much time in stance and standing on that leg because you're trying to get your weight off of it and um, not have that pain and discomfort. So what I like to do is take a pretty good size ankle weight and actually put it on the non-surgical leg. So in this case, In this case, I had surgery on my right leg. My left leg is my non-surgical leg. And just try walking, you know, around the house or in the therapy gym with that ankle weight on the non-surgical leg. And what that's causing is increased time that you're in stance, that you're standing on the surgical leg because it's going to take a little bit more effort, a little bit more time to swing your other leg forward. And just that subtle you know, not even a full second, milliseconds, tenths of a second, that you're more, putting more weight on your surgical leg, 
it's going to start to normalize your gait pattern. So then once you take the ankle weight off, hopefully with practice and over time, it will start to carry over that you're going to put more and more weight on that surgical leg. You're going to equal out your step length. You're going to equal out your weight bearing and your stance time on both legs side to side. So one last thing, when it comes to walking with pain, I tell people it's okay to work through that pain a little bit. So minimal pain, 3 out of 10, 4 out of 10, it's okay to work through that. Your replacement, your body can tolerate that. It's not going to cause any damage. It's not going to cause any harm. If the pain starts getting more than that, moderate, severe intensity, that's when you probably want to take a break, stop for the day. You know, we don't want to cause an exacerbation, a flare-up of your symptoms. So it's okay in that mild discomfort, work through it a little bit, that'll actually have some long-term benefits, but if the pain starts getting more than mild, you know, 5 out of 10 or worse, then that's your sign to really stop and take a break for the day. So just to run over real quick, again, think about having a good distraction so you're not thinking about your pain or discomfort. Put those handphones in, walk with a partner. Um, think about having a good point of reference straight ahead of you to keep that straight path as you walk. And then also think about walking with a nice brisk pace. Walking with a nice brisk pace, keeping that point of reference is really going to improve a lot of your walking and help normalize your gait pattern and walking after knee replacement surgery. I hope you found this helpful and insightful. Please be sure to leave your comments and questions below. Hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching.